Hey, I have this problem on the board from MIT 2023. This was problem number five. We have the integral from zero to four of x choose five dx. Okay, and I just previously did a video doing the same exact problem. I just did it with a different method, and I'm gonna do this same problem again, but we're gonna do it a completely different way. So, so let's get started with this. The first thing we're gonna need is this definition over here to the right of the binomial coefficient. This is pronounced, you can call this like n choose k. This is gonna let us write this in terms of factorials. We'll be able to rewrite our integral and get it to be a little more usable. So let's do that to start. Okay, so now I have that in this form over here, just writing this in terms of factorials. I can take this five factorial, it's a constant, so I can bring this up front and rewrite my integral with it out here. And then we can write this, we'll just, I'll just expand this x factorial out and write out all the terms. So let's just do that real quick. And the reason I do that, that's gonna allow me to just have this nice cancellation. So now we just have this big polynomial. And what I wanna do with this, rather than multiply it out, in the other video, I didn't really multiply it out either because it's just kind of tedious. But what I can do is, we'll do a u substitution. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call, in the other video I used, I used x minus two, the middle term. What I'm gonna do here is we're gonna use I set our u equal to four minus x, and then our du is gonna be minus dx, so dx equals minus du. So then we'll make that substitution now. Plug my four in here, and I have a zero for my upper bound. Plug a zero in, and I have a minus four. And before I do all this, let's get a value for x. So x is gonna be four minus u. So then our first term, x, if x is four minus u, then x minus one is gonna be three minus u, and then we're gonna be just decreasing all the way to the last term. Okay, let me correct this mistake. This is supposed to be just a four, because if we, pl we plug a zero in here, we get a four, not a negative four. But what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna use this minus sign of the d. We could bring it out front, and I'm gonna use the swap my bounds, okay? And we'll get it back to four to zero. Then next, all I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna do a variable change because it's a definite integral, I can change my variable back to x without hurting anything. So let's just rewrite this all in x. Okay, so now I have this whole thing all in x. Okay, and one thing I did though, I reversed the order of it, right? I brought my minus u to over here, brought my four minus u over here, so I totally re reversed it. Because it's multiplication, that's not gonna matter. So it's just gonna be convenient for me. And then what I'm doing is I'm lining it up. I'm, I'm actually comparing with this integral right here. And I noticed that, okay, minus x, this is actually this term, so it's like minus one times x. x one minus x can be written as minus one times x minus one. So what I can do with all these minus ones, we're gonna have five of them. I can write that as minus one to the fifth, but minus one to the fifth is just minus one. So what I can do is rewrite this whole thing in this form, but with just a minus sign in front. Okay, so now just by pulling a minus sign out of each of these five terms, we have our minus in front. But now the interesting thing, so we have like the exact same integral, but we have the minus of it, and they're equal. Okay, so what does all this mean? Well, our original integral was i. We did a bunch of manipulation and we got to this integral, which is also i. We transformed it into u, we made our u substitution, we messed around with it, we got back to this integral, which is also i. But then all this is, is i, right? This matches this. So after all this, all we're saying is that our original integral i is the same thing as minus i. And there's only one way this can be true. We can add an i on both sides. So then adding these, we have two i equals zero, because these two cancel. But that must mean i equals zero. Okay, so I'll provide a link to that other video. You can check that out. You can let me know which of the methods you prefer of these two videos. And we'll stop it there. Thank you for watching.